Mauricio Macri is an Argentine businessman and politician who served as the president of Argentina. From 2015 to 2019, he has been the leader of the Republican Proposal Party since its founding in 2005. He previously served as fifth chief of government of Buenos Aires from 2007 to 2015 and was a member of the Chamber of Deputies representing Buenos Aires from 2005 to 2007. Ideologically, he identifies himself as a liberal and conservative on the Argentine center-right. Born in Tandil, Argentina, Macri trained as a civil engineer at the Pontifical Catholic University of Argentina and attended Columbia University for Business School. After embarking on a business career, he was kidnapped in 1991 which, after being released, prompted him to enter politics. He served as president of football club Boca Juniors from 1994 to 2007, re-establishing its profitability which raised his public profile. In 2003 he launched the Commitment for Change, eventually developing it into the modern pro-party. Following an unsuccessful bid for chief of government of Buenos Aires in 2003, Macri was elected in 2007 and won re-election in 2011. Four years later he was elected president of Argentina in the 2015 general election, the first presidential runoff ballotage in Argentinian history. Macri became the first incumbent president to lose re-election to a second term during the 2019 general election. The presidency of Macri focused on reforming the national economy and improving diplomatic relations. He moved from a fixed exchange rate system to a floating one and removed taxes on exports and reduced subsidies on energy to reduce the fiscal deficit. He aligned the country with gradualist neoliberalism and reopened Argentina to international markets by lifting currency controls, restructuring sovereign debt, and pressing free market solutions. Domestically, he pursued moderate socially liberal policies liberalized the energy sector, and combated public corruption. Macri strongly opposed the government of Nicolas Maduro in Venezuela for human rights abuses and calls for a restoration of democracy in the country. He recognized Havan Guaido, who was elected president of Venezuela by the National Assembly during the Venezuelan presidential crisis of 2019. Macri improved the relations with the United States and from Mercosur achieved a free trade agreement with the European Union and closer ties with the Pacific Alliance. During the first week in office, Macri annulled the Memorandum of Understanding between Argentina and Iran, which would have established a joint investigation into the 1994 bombing with AMIA, a terrorist attack on a Jewish organization for which Argentina blamed Hezbollah and Iran. His legislative pursuits varied in efficacy and received mixed reception from Argentines and Globally, his presidency has been criticized for failing to materially reform the economy while receiving praise for leaving a legacy of anti-corruption and increasing Argentina's sovereign marketability. Born in Tandil, Buenos Aires province, Macri is the son of Franco Macri, a prominent Italian businessman in the industrial and construction sectors, and was raised in an upper-class home. He received a bachelor's degree in civil engineering from the Pontifical Catholic University of Argentina and studied at Columbia University's Business School in New York City, United States. Macri became president of Boca Juniors, one of Argentina's two most popular football clubs, in 1995. In 2005, he created the center-right Republican Proposal Party. Although Macri was a potential presidential candidate in the 2011 general elections, he ran instead for re-election as mayor. He received about 47% of the vote in the mayoral election, which led to a runoff election on 31 July 2011 against Daniel Filmus in which Macri was re-elected for a second consecutive term. On the 22nd of November 2015, after a tie in the first round of the presidential elections on 25 October, he received 51.34% of the vote to defeat Front for Victory candidate Daniel Scioli and was inaugurated on 10 December 2015 in the Argentine Congress. Macri ended the sovereign default and removed currency controls, 
but inflation remained high and the 2018 Argentine monetary crisis led to a loan from the International Monetary Fund, its largest ever awarded. By April 2019, inflation had reached 55%. Prices for public utilities, fixed since 2002 despite the high inflation, were gradually restored to market figures. In the international arena, the country left the pink tide and was a vocal critic of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro during the 2019 Venezuelan presidential crisis. The party won the most districts during the 2017 midterm elections. And Macri announced that he would run for a second term in 2019. He secured his party's nomination in the presidential election in August 2019 despite a poor performance in the primary. In 2016, Macri was named one of the world's 100 most influential PEO.